Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Teresa Tomlinson, and I want to open today by giving glory to God for the fact that we're here together as a community, we're together for fellow mankind, and that we are here and we're safe. You know, we're safe, our families are safe. And it's not the first time in our history we've had to come together as a great nation, as a great city, and help those in desperate need. We think back only to Katrina, which was in our country and in our region of the country to see fellow mankind suffering. And we stepped up then. We gave shelter to some of those refugees. Those refugees, we opened our hearts and we opened our pocketbooks and we sent money to those who were desperate and suffering. And so today, we look at those in India and just think about it, nearly 200 thousand people dead. That's the entire population of the city of Columbus. 200,000 people lost their lives. A million displaced. We just can't even fathom, I think, the hardship of that. And I know if we were there, if we were physically there, we would be moving those rocks and stones. We would be moving a piece of rubble. And we can't be. So what can we do? Well, for every rock you would move, is that a dollar? Is that a dollar you can give? Would you move 25 stones? Would you move 50 stones? Would you move 100 stones if you could, if you were able? And so today, as we think about what we can do, as we think about really God, I think, testing us to show our compassion and our love for our fellow man when we have the opportunity to do so, what can? we do. I read just last night that the American Red Cross is already, has already just 14 days after a 0 .7 earthquake, devastation of an entire nation really, has already expended $67 million in getting water. This is just water and just food and just temporary shelter. I don't know that any of us can really imagine uh, the financial commitment that it's going to take across the world and the American Red Cross leading the way as they have in so, so many uh, disasters that befall us from time to time as mankind. And so I want to thank Marquise, I want to thank Crown Entertainment, Mincy, for all you do. I have been at those many events. Mincy said she feels sometimes like she's running for office going to all these events and, and asking for people to come together. Um, but it is so important. And so I thank you all for coming out today. I thank you all for uh, allowing me to be a, a part of this and ask that we do open our hearts and our pocketbooks for those brothers and sisters in need. And I want to close with just a word. Dear Lord, hold us in the palm of your hand. Hold those in Haiti who are suffering, who are desperate to find loved ones, who are desperate to find shelter and safety for their families. Please, Lord, hold them. Hold them so close to you. And Lord, do test us. Test us for our compassion, our willingness to help as we can. And dear Lord, give us your grace. Give us your grace. Give us strength, we ask in your loving name this morning. Amen. Amen.